Alright, now that we've made sure our video doesn't contain any interlacing, it's time to crop and resize. As you'll see, I'm still here in Virtual Dub Mod, and I'm going to go to the script editor, and I'm going to type crop, open parentheses, 8, comma, 0, comma, negative 8, comma, negative 0, and close parentheses. Now what this command does is this tells Avicent to crop 8 pixels from the left side and 8 pixels from the right side. And ideally this is what you want to crop. Now the first value here is the left side, the second value is the top side, the third value here is the right side, and the last value is the bottom side. For the right and the bottom you need to input these as negative values. Now after you try this, if it looks like you've still got a little bit of black space around any of the any sides, you can try playing with these values until you can remove all the black area from your video. Now if you notice that your video has some rather large black areas at the top and bottom, then your video is letterboxed and you don't want to crop off those large bars. We're just going to leave those on there. Now once you've cropped your video, we need to resize it to the correct aspect ratio. We're going to write Lanxos resize with the parentheses. And now, if DG Index told you that your footage's aspect ratio was 4 to 3, then we're going to put in 640, comma, 480. And this tells Avicent to resize to a resolution of 640 by 480. And we're done there. Now if DG Index told you that your footage's aspect ratio was 16 to 9, then in that case we're going to put 640, comma, 352. And then we're going to add another line that says, add borders. And in the parentheses we're going to put 0, comma, 64, comma, 0, comma, 64. And that will resize our 16 to 9 footage to the correct aspect ratio. Alright, now once you've got your video cropped and resized, let's just check on some things to make sure everything looks alright. Let's go up to File, File Information. Alright, now, and in this information window, we're going to look up here, and it says the frame size, it should be 640 by 480. If your frame size is anything else, then you want to go back and check your values, make sure you didn't type something in wrong. And for your frame rate, it should be either 23.976, 29.97, or 25. And if those two values look right, then we're on the right track. 